Welcome back to Studio 701. So it is more important than ever to work on our overall health, and that does include our mental health. In today's Wellbeing, which is sponsored by Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, we welcome our guest, Mike Maples, here to talk about a difficult topic, but a very important one. Thank you so much for being with oh, us today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate morning, it. Mike. Thank you. Morning. So you're, you're getting the word out on a ride uh, that you have teamed up with the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention, uh, the Wish You Were Here ride. How did that come about? Uh, what do you want people to know about? Um, originally what had happened is um, four years ago I'd lost my son to suicide. And so um, over the years I'd lost other people, friends and stuff like that, and people I knew with, people I'd served in combat with and stuff. And so uh, there was always I could put a finger on why, you know, PTSD, drug addiction, some kind of, you know, reason. But when my son passed, I couldn't figure it out. So um, I started going online and just kind of looking at the stats, kind of uh, learning more about suicide and suicide prevention and awareness. And uh, when I started looking at the statistics, I was amazed that uh, basically every 11 minutes in the United States, someone loses their life to suicide. And for every completed suicide, there's 25 attempts. And so basically every 11 minutes, 26 people in our country attempt suicide with one being able to complete it. And that's only the reported number, so I'm sure they're even a lot higher. And so a good friend of mine and I, he had lost a, some family to suicide, and we were talking about what to do. We do, felt we needed to do something. And so we uh, basically were going to do a, just a basic ride like you see in the summertime, just around town for a couple hours. And we are like, no, let's go bigger. And so then we decided let's do it around the state. We were going to do a couple day ride and just go completely around the state. And then we said, well, let's go bigger. So last year was our very first ride and we went from Canada to Mexico in four days. It was a 1,700 miles one way. And uh, with that, like I said, we're able, what we do is with the bikes all loaded down with our baggage and everything, we found that when we go to a gas stop, there's always somebody that will approach us. You know, where are you guys going? What are you doing? Where have you been? Blah, blah, blah. And so we're able to, to use that opportunity to engage with them and start talking to them about suicide awareness, suicide prevention. And one of the things we found out, everybody we're meeting, it's very seldom we find anybody who hasn't been affected by suicide, either directly or indirectly, in one way or another. And so they'll start talking. And so one of the things we do is we talk about what resources are available. Well, what the, you know, where they can do the new uh, lifeline number, the 988 number and stuff. We talk about that. Um, another, on the flip side of it, is somebody who's lost a loved one, a lot of times nobody, there's a stigma that kind of surrounds suicide and nobody really talks about it. And so and I think it's, they feel uncomfortable because it's not a natural death and stuff, you know. And so we engage them with their loved one and get them to talk. And you see just like relief. They're wanting to talk and share stories about them. And a 15-minute gas stop will turn into an hour and a half and stuff just because we're visiting with somebody and talking. And so that's, we use that platform then as we travel down the road and just spread the word and so it's a beautiful uh, thing and what a journey to go on i mean uh, i just have to ask about the logistics of the ride itself how many miles a day are you kind of tackling? we were shooting last year we did a little over 500 miles a day uh like i said we got down there in about it was well it was four days to get down there it took technically three and a half days to get there mm -hmm. and then uh, we went like i said we went from north hope uh north dakota just north of minot on the border or West Hope, excuse me, just north of Minot, and then we went all the way to Laredo, Texas, straight down U.S. Highway 83, and we were kind of using one highway for one cause. We just had one cause that we were on this road for, and uh, with this, like I said, uh, we also statistically had found that all the states on the eastern side of the Rockies, the Great Plains states, there's, those are had the higher suicide rates mm. and stuff you know, per capita. And we felt that it was because there are more rural states, there's not a lot available and stuff. So that was one of the reasons we chose that route, is just going across open little farm communities and everything else, just to be able to let them know what resources are out there and what's available to them. Mm -hmm. And so that's the reason we chose that route. And like I said, yeah, it was, it was, it started off cold. The day morning we left, it oh. was actually really cold. Mm -hmm. And then... By the time we got to Laredo, I want to say it was about 104. Oh, wow. my gosh. Uh, wow. it, was, it was hot. So, Mike, this year, when is the ride, and how can people register? Uh, is there a deadline to register? Um, this year, the ride is going from uh, Bismarck, Mandan area. We're going to actually go to uh, Milwaukee. 
Okay. And then we're going to circle back up and around into northern Wisconsin and stuff. We kind of make it a little more of a scenic ride this year. Uh, and it's June 16th through the 20th and stuff. As we leave on the 16th, we'll come back on the 20th. It's two days to get to Milwaukee. Uh, we're going to spend a day in the Milwaukee area just to kind of sightsee, roam around. It's the 120th year anniversary of uh, Harley-Davidson, so we'll go to the museum, see all that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll go up into the northern Wisconsin and back up around by Lake Superior and stuff, and then back to Bismarck. Uh, they can go on our website. It's uh, www.wishyouwerehereride.com, and you can register for the ride there if you'd like. We have a lot of information for the ride. Some of the things we ask people to do also for the ride is if you've lost a loved one or a friend, you can send us a picture. And uh, we post it on there for, and this is kind of showing who we're riding for and who we're trying to honor. And uh, it, with the statistics, this way it's putting a name instead, to a, instead of just a number, it, it humanizes it a little bit more yeah. and kind of brings into light. And uh, so, but yeah, there's no deadline to register. We do have a block of rooms set up. Uh, the blocks start shutting down. Uh, on March 15th. So if you okay. want to get in, you got to you can call and then set up and get you a room reserved all that if you want. Perfect. Mm -hmm. and stuff. So yeah. The who we ride for images and names on your website is very powerful as is this whole right. concept behind this ride. Thank you so much for being Thanks with for us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right. And this has been Wellbeing sponsored by Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. If you or someone you know needs help, please call the Crisis hotline right here on your screen. And for more information, once again, you can visit wishyouwerehereride.com. You can also email or call the phone number 701-426-4341. Also check out the Facebook page, Wish You Were Here Ride for Suicide Prevention.